All right, so what we have here are piston pins from a old motor. Um, it's a numbers matching motor though, so we're trying to salvage it the best as possible. Now that poor little motor sat for a long, long, long time, almost neglected. So what we have is a little bit of, uh, I don't want to call it corrosion, maybe a little more than discoloration, not quite corrosion. And what we're going to try and do is fix these pins. So we're going to polish them up a little bit. And to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to chuck these things up so that we can stick them in the drill press so that we can use that as a... Uh, as a polishing machine. And we'll get these tightened down, chucked up on the drill press. I'll show you what that looks like. So a little threaded end there will go in the drill press. This one we've already done and you can see it came out pretty good. Definitely serviceable. No question that it's serviceable. Um, I guess the, uh, the piston really doesn't move around on the outside of the pin, but there's enough corrosion there that getting them in and out is going to be not too much fun. And I really want to make sure that I get these clean enough that I can look at them and make sure that they're going to they're going to be just fine for for many 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 miles to go. Um, pistons all cleaned up beautifully. We think based on the part number that's stamped in the bottom that well you will have a hard time seeing. It says 90P27. We think these are real Molly forged RS pistons, which is kind of neat when you think about uh, there's not too much of that stuff floating around out there. So we're going to try and salvage these pins so we can put it all back together and make some horsepower and some memories for many years to come. So I'll get that thing chucked up and show you what I'm talking about. All right, one day, <clears throat> hopefully long after I'm gone, people are going to wonder, how did he get the camera to sit right there? That's a secret. All right, so we got this thing in our little washers with a long bolt, a nut. We're going to see what, uh, what we can do. Um, taking a trick out of my detailing friends book both Alfred and Robert have always said least aggressive method first so we're not going to use any kind of uh, wet sanding or anything like that we're just going to go with mother's polish that's it and then we'll make sure we wash that off really well drop them in the little ultrasonic cleaner that we've named Sonia but uh, just going to put a little bit of polish on here and then we're going to use a plain old microfiber to uh, see if we can get this thing to look a little bit better and work better really the looks are only interesting it's got to work better we just want to make sure that we can uh, inspect it very well So not an insanely high speed or anything like that, just a, probably 500 RPMs, let's see, it's set at maybe 312 actually right now, so nothing super fast, but we're just going to work the polish into the piston uh, pin, let's see what we come up with, you know, already you can see the stuff whatever was on there is coming off and it's probably aluminum transfer onto the chrome just because of how long it just sat still and didn't do anything that's actually coming out even better than the first one that I did put a little bit more polish on it so again no uh, no heavy compounds no sandpaper just polishing it just want to make sure that the chrome is on there in all the right places so that when we inspect it 
we can feel confident to put these in the motor and run it for a long, long time. So, and I'm not putting a lot of pressure. I mean, there, I'm putting a little pressure, but you can see it's a one finger worth of pressure. So I'm not doing anything special. I just have this thing chucked up in a drill head. <clears throat> I could go faster, generate more heat, make it work better. Use the short nap side because that's for removing stuff. Looks good. We'll give it one more pass, so that'll be a even three passes. Just spreading out the compound. Still have a little bit of material transfer onto the rag. Now some of that could be coming from those washers that I used, but I'm trying to make sure that get this little guy polished up and clean. So it looks like least aggressive method here with doing nothing more than a little bit of polish is going to work out for us. All right, so now it's generating a little bit of heat, but I would say that this little guy, ready to go back into a motor, spend some quality time going up and down inside the cylinder, and yeah, I mean, I can't feel anything with a thumbnail, so everything is just surface and micro marring so nothing that we're worried about as far as putting it back in an engine and making it do its job so I think we're in pretty good shape a little bit of polish microfiber and chucking the thing up in a, in a drill press and we were able to restore a uh, probably 1974 part so good luck with that and uh, we'll get this thing cleaned up and show you the final pictures of all six of them. All right, so after I got those pins polished up and serviceable again, I was thinking to myself, I wonder if I change the RA, which is a measurement of surface roughness. Now on oil bearing shafts, you actually want a little bit of roughness because you want the oil to stay on the on the shaft. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to run a little test. On the right side here, these are out of a uh, uh, 76 uh, 911S and a little longer pin, but I have not touched that pin other than to just clean it. On the left side here are one of the pins that we uh, polished up. So we're going to run a little test. I'm going to use um, Let's see, this is 10W40 Valvoline. We're going to see if one of them sheds the oil quicker than the other. The one on the right, I didn't do anything to. The one on the left is the one we polished. So there's a drop of oil. There's a, another drop of oil trying to make it fair. We'll see if they shed the oil quicker. Well, it looks like neither one of them is going to let that oil go all the way down onto the surface. Just trying to use a surface that would show it. So, we're about 20 seconds into this test and they appear to have similar properties. So with the polish that I was using in the method, I don't think I changed the uh, uh, surface at all. But since I don't have a fancy diamond-tipped profileometer, um, we use this as a little test just to see if it uh, if it changed. But neither pin is shedding the oil faster than the other, so we're gonna call it good. All right, so these are the six pins all cleaned up. Go back into those pistons and uh, 
we didn't pull the bottom end apart so we'll check the uh, the rod small end make sure that those bushes are all good put this thing back together and see what kind of awesome performance it's going to have with uh, with this top end rebuild hey thanks for watching check us out on brightworks.com